Wait. Hello, guys. It's me, Kobe, again. And welcome back to the Science Facts. So today, we are going to make these sparklers. If you can see it. that. Okay. And here's a small one. So, I can't make it because I ran out of the ingredients. But, here's how to make it. You are going to need 100% cotton string, potassium nitrate, which can be found a lot in stump remover. And finally, um, sugar. You need sugar. Sugar. And, okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to get, a, okay, you're going to get a fourth a cup, or no, a third a cup of sugar, su sugar, and then um, a half a cup of potassium nitrate. You're just going to gently make, uh, put it in a bowl, mix it together, then put it in a pan. It can be, a, it, I prefer, I prefer electric because um, it is really flammable, and if it catches on the bottom, it will set on fire. So this is where you do. You're gonna uh, put it on the pan. You're gonna put the potassium nitrate and sugar on the pan, and just the sugar will start to caramelize. So just keep, just mix it, and keep mixing it until it looks like um, pumpkin pie uh, filling. And then when you have that, no, never mind, not pumpkin pie. Uh, it's going to be like this, just like this liquid. And when you do that, you're going to put uh, the string in there and just like uh, make it absorb the potassium nitrate and sugar. Then you're going to get a pan and uh, just like put it in like a, so it looks like a loop. So it's like this. And just bake it for 15 minutes and or however long until it gets to this golden brown. And when you do that, it, uh, you can take it out, cut off the ends, and there you have it. <coughs> <coughs> you can also add food coloring to make it a different color. And you can use these for a lot. You can make a um, bottle rocket, which I'll show you later um you can just make homemade sparklers fuses and yeah and this is my science lab by the way if you don't know it's kind of messy it's actually just a garage okay that was weird Okay, then here's another one. It's a drone. Well, here's a drone. This is kind of dead, but I'll still show you what it does. This side is right there. Pretty cool though. And you're gonna need about about six of them. Yep, about six. And um, just you're gonna get these helicopters. They usually come in a ball, 
and then just cut off the ends. It's fine. Uh, yeah, it won't do anything. And then, you yeah, just cut off the bottom of another one. And then you are going to cut a skewer about the, the just this length, like a skewer usually comes in. And have two of those. And have one skewer, like about a th three fourths of the skewer. Have two of those, and have one on this side like this. And you're gonna put it together like this. You can see here's this one skewer, the other one like that. It should look like this when you're done. And. It's hard to tell details on that. I don't really have a ruler, but yeah. Okay. Uh, next experiment. This is a periscope. It is used for submarines. You can look at it. Look, I can put it right here. Wait. Plywood, no, not plywood. Balsa wood and mirrors. Yeah. Okay. So this is what you're gonna do. You're just gonna have the balsa wood about uh, a yard long on both sides, and have and take a, and another, you're gonna have an, another one, which is um, the same length. Wait, hold on. It's, it's going to be the same length as, well, not really, but you're going to take away about three inches from, like, this big one. See? This one right here. You can take, there you go. Okay. And then you're going to glue the one that has, oh, yeah, and also take three inches away from here. And then... You are going to um, use the one that has uh, that has three inches taken off by both ends, um, and then you're going to glue it to the one that it's a yard, and make it three inches away from the edge, and do the same on the other side with this. Oh, and this is how you actually make to look through it. You're going to need um, a mirror. Uh, and you're gonna need, uh, like an angle measure or whatever. Um, and you're gonna put the mirror in at 45 degree, at a 45 degree angle. And, uh, so it's going up. On the other side, you can do the same thing so it's going up. So, yeah. And, um, it will bounce off there. And make sure the mirrors are facing the other way, like this, so that it's on the other side, like this. So when it, uh, yeah, so when it reflects it, you should see something up top. And now, you can have fun. Okay, so uh, you can you're gonna get the power. Oh wait. Okay, so I don't have the nine volt battery, but I will have it. I'll just show you what to do with it. Okay, you can get the power. You can put the sound module on like this. Then you're gonna put. The servo on like this, 
and uh, you can put a popsy lock on it. I'm not, or it's like made out of popsicle sticks that can move the like lock on it. But I'll show you that in a different tutorial. And so you can put this on inside of your door, and you can knock and make noise. And since this is a sound-activated servo, when it makes noise, it will turn. So you can just unlock your door with the knock. It's cool. Okay. Now, this is some high-tech stuff. Okay, so we have a circuit board right here. I got it from, it's already pre-made from like a robot toy, and I just took it out, and the motor fell off, but uh, me and my dad are going to solder it back on, but here's a cool trick, um, you can get the motors and uh, put it on a 9 volt battery and it'll make it go, but here's what I did, um, I put it, at first I put this, I had double, t double sided sticky tape, and I put the circuit board on it, and then I put um, a mo the motor right here. So when I turned it on, it was like a drill. But I was like, nah, uh, that's no. And I I wanted to build something, and it, Christmas was coming up, so I want to build my mom and dad something. So this is what I did. I got a piece of paper put like a hovercraft CD holder. It's like, it's like a small hovercraft. And um, I uh, put, yeah, it, it was like a small circle. I put that on the CD and then um, put the motor on one of the little holes and then it would spin, but it was uneven. So, I was like, okay. And then I stuck this in the paper. And so, it was a massager. Uh, because it would spin, it would shake, and it would go really fast. It was also remote controlled, but I lost the remote control. Yeah. And I am going to show you how to do that next in a video soon. Don't know when, though. And I hope you like those five little experiments. The, la the last one is high tech, which I like. And uh, this is why the first one happens. Nitrate is also known as nitrogen. And nitrogen mixed with potassium is flammable. So that, and when you light the fuse on fire, you're lighting the, um, the string on fire which that's pretty much the source that it makes it burn so yeah and the second one which is the drone wait yeah it was the it was the drone right yeah uh yeah it was um it was pretty lightweight so it would be able to fly wait hold on Oh yeah, and the periscope you can look at it from the bottom just because of the seeing angles. Yeah, and the fourth one, little bits. You can't really explain that because it's just magnets and sounds. <coughs> okay, wait. I'm gonna show my face. So do it. Oh, it's dark. Ah! Okay, take this out. There we go. No. Okay. And this high tech. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Hold on. And just the uh, soldering, we need that. It just remote controls. It sends out a signal, captures it, and activates the motors, same like our brains. So I hope you like this five. 
experiment video. I'm going to have the full tutorial on the other ones soon. So, subscribe, like this video, and bye-bye!